welcome to Clan TV. Today I'm joined by our number 55, Matt Hansen. Hi, Matt. How you doing, Chris? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Good, good. So this is your first season with us, and it's your first season in the IHL. Why don't you tell the fans a little bit about where you played previously and how you got into ice hockey as well? Okay, uh, the last seven years I've been in the Central Hockey League. Um, played for I don't know how many different teams, but... Uh, that was a good experience. Obviously, saw a lot of the U.S. and uh, coming over here is a big change. Um, I guess hockey-wise, but lifestyle-wise, it's it's the same and it's very similar to yeah. back home here. So so that's nice. And uh, I guess I just got into hockey because that's what everybody does in Canada. Really? I guess. Yeah. What age were you when you first went to training? Honestly, I don't even remember. So pretty pre young, Pretty though? young, yeah. Yeah. And um, did you play for any college teams? Yeah, I went to uh, University of Alaska Anchorage, and I was there for three years. And uh, that was a bit up and down. I, I went ineligible one year and broke my ankle the following really? year. Wow. Yeah. So it was not pretty the tough. greatest. Yeah. But. So... You played in the CHL, and now you're here in the EIHL. There's a lot of guys from that league over here. Have you played with any of the other guys that are in the league this year? Do you know some of the guys from around the league? Yeah, I know I know quite a few guys. Uh, there's a couple that I played with in Dundee, a couple in Cardiff. Um, you know, the hockey world's a yeah, small world. It so, but it, it's fun, though. It's, it's good to see those guys, like uh, the guys in Cardiff I went to school with and oh, haven't wow. seen them since since then so it's it's, it's nice good. to catch up yeah. Yeah. yeah and how do you find the the hockey over here is it a completely different style or is it pretty similar um it's more similar to back home than yeah. than than i thought outside of playing on the big ice yeah but i like that um i i came over to serbia a couple of years ago and wow. that was totally different yeah um, that would have been different style for sure yeah, yeah. yeah. but no i i like it it's uh it's different in a good way here. Um, probably not as physical, but that has to do with the big ice. It's harder to yeah, definitely. You got to go a lot a lot farther to, <laughs> to get true. somebody. So, but but I like that though. Good. Yeah. So you, for those that don't know or maybe don't know, you're a defenseman. So we've chatted to some of the forwards, and obviously when they're playing games, they're thinking about scoring, they're pushing the puck to the net. Yeah. We've spoken to some of the goaltenders as well, and we've got insight into their game. What can you tell the fans about being a defenseman? What is it that goes through your head pre-game or during the game? What kind of things do you focus on? Uh, well, I try not to think a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, just play. Um, obviously, you're just trying not to let the other team score. So. Yeah. Um, you know, it's hard to say what I think about, I guess. I, like I said, I just try and not think and... Stop let, the puck. Yeah, let yeah. the game happen, you know. And uh, sometimes it goes well. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes not. not so well. But uh, I mean, it's been tough for you so far this season in that the clan have been playing a little bit short-benched at different periods. And I think the defense has suffered a little in that area. I mean, do you think it's a good or a bad thing for you at this stage? Because you've put a lot of minutes on... You know, you've been on the ice a lot, so do you think that's pushed your game on a little? Uh, uh, hard to say. It, it's hard to say because, you know, it's been that way and, and it is what it is. Obviously, um, in some of the games early on, you could see, like, third period, yeah. you know, myself and Steve Burnsell were just out of gas, yeah. you know. And so that's been tough, but it's hard to say because it... it we haven't had the full lineup, yeah. so hopefully when we do, it'll be a big improvement for, for the back end. I mean, this should probably happen this weekend, because now mm -hmm. we've got, you're fully fit, Steve Bernstein's fully fit, we've got David Nicoletti yeah. in, and we've also got Mitch Malnu coming back for yeah. Saturday's game, so for you guys, it'll probably be a big difference, would you think? Uh, yeah, having Mitch back there is unreal. He's defensively one of the best I've seen, yeah. and... Um, you know, just obviously like penalty kills and stuff like that, having everybody being able to do yeah. it takes a lot of burden off. Now you don't have to stay out for a minute and a half or whatever. You can take a regular shift. And yeah. so hopefully more rested will mean 
just being better. Definitely. Yeah. And, and if you look at our Brits that are in the, the defensive position as well, so we've got Sam Zajac and uh, Kevin Phillips, they've done a pretty good job too. I mean, they've really stepped up while we've been short. Would you agree? Absolutely. I mean, to ask anybody to play, I mean, th essentially 30 minutes a night is, yeah. is tough. And, you know, the way they stepped up and did it was, was unreal. Like, I mean... 30 minutes is a lot of ice time Definitely. for for anybody. So, yeah, I, I think our decor has, you know, it's been tough, but obviously done what they can, and, and I thought pretty well, too. Yeah, definitely. So we look forward to this weekend. We've only got one game. We're at home against the Coventry Blaze. How do you guys feel about that? I mean, they're quite a physical team. They've got quite a reputation. Yeah. So are you guys going to change your game slightly, be a bit more physical, or are you going to stick to what you, you guys know best and just work your own systems? Yeah, well, I, I don't think for us that will be a big factor, I don't think, because I, I don't know anybody on their team. Yeah. I, I have We haven't played them yet, um, but I always found that when you have a team that's maybe not as physical sometimes that can be can go one of two ways it's yeah. either a complete gong show or the team that doesn't have or that has more skilled players and less physical players ends up doing better yeah because they're faster more skilled so it, it'll be interesting to see but um, obviously we need to have a big game regardless if it's physical or not yeah definitely yeah. so before we conclude do you have any pregame rituals that you do have you are you superstitious in any way i i don't think so I, uh no not really i mean you just do the same thing every day a little bit of two touch yeah. and some stretches yeah a little bike ride little stretch um i usually just sit around until about half an hour before <laughs> and then get my bike ride and stretch and then yeah Everything is just habit by now. Yeah. So, so you don't yeah. even think of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was lovely to talk to you, Matt, and we wish you all the best for this weekend and the forthcoming season. Great. Thank you. Thank you.